Good afternoon, Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, and Google+. This is Rich Ann, back for your second video blog of the day for Thursday, May 5th, 2016. Around 5.45 in the afternoon in Bellwicker, Massachusetts. It's been a cloudy day out today. Some rain showers. Maybe some no more rain tonight, tomorrow, more of the same drizzle and fog and rain and 40s and 50s. Weekend looks improved and next Monday will be wall to wall sunshine. Some news. The Indiana Pacers have not renewed the contract of head coach Frank Vogel, so he won't be coaching the team next year. Also, in the NHL, Yamia Yaga, the ageless wonder, has signed a one-year contract extension with the Florida Panthers. He's going to get about $5 million. And NBC Sports Radio is going to broadcast the Stanley Cup Finals. This will be the first time that the United States have ha has had national radio coverage of the Stanley Cup Finals since the late 2000s. And that's about it on news. My second video blog subject of, of the day is about MBTA bus route 712 that goes from Orient Heights MBTA station in East Boston to Deer Island, or it's called Point Shirley via Winthrop Highlands. Originally, I was going to do um, MBTA bus route 712 and 713 because they're two um, similar routes, but they have like different um, routes, so I, I, it would be very confusing to do two routes at one time for a video blog, so I'm just going to do bus 712 today, and tomorrow I'm going to do bus 713. And this, this bus service is actually contracted by Paul Revere Transportation. But it's 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 still it's still ran by the MBTA, and this is the only buses that serve the town of Winthrop. The bus route starts on the right hand side of the Orient Heights MBTA um, Blue Line station, and the bus route starts in the, in that busway. It goes out and takes a left. On to Saratoga Street, East Boston, Route 145. Goes by the Blue Line Shops, where they have the trains. And it goes by a few businesses. I think a Dunkin' Donuts. And a Light Aid. And it, you could see a view of Boston Harbor. And the skyline of Boston. Goes by an inlet. Over an inlet. Saratoga Street turns into Main Street in Winthrop, Massachusetts, and continues on Main Street by a lot of residential neighborhoods, a few gas stations and convenience stores, and it continues on until it bears onto Revere Street, and it's a more residential neighborhood on Revere Street, and it's in the Highlands area of Winthrop, continues on. It bears right onto Crenshaw Avenue, and then Winthrop Shore Drive, which is, um, you could see the ocean, part of the beach. It goes briefly on the um, Beach Street, and then onto Veterans Avenue, where it parallels to a golf course, and it's, and it's on Route 145. And it continues on to Veterans Avenue until it comes to Washington Avenue and it bears like left on it there and it goes on to Shirley Street. Some stops terminate at the corner of Washington Avenue and Shirley Street. That's Winthrop Beach. And it continues on Shirley Avenue, which is the peninsula of Winthrop. And it goes by the Winthrop Yacht Club. 
and then a lot of houses. Eventually, it turns onto Fame Street, and it continues on until it terminates at a at a at a god at like a gate where that's the Deer Island Sewer Treatment Plant. Some buses terminate there, while other buses terminate at Winthrop Beach. And this bus route is approximately 20 minutes long. It's about a buck fifty each way you pay on the, on the bus because Charlie cards are not accepted on the Paul Revere line. And this bus runs seven days a week from f early in the morning to late at night. I've never been on this bus before, but it's a scenic route I hear. You see part of the ocean and, you know, part of the Boston skyline. And that's about it on MBTA bus route, route 712. The Paul Revere um, buses. Tomorrow's going to be the second part of this will be MBTA bus route 713, which will be Orient Heights um, Deer Island via with Flip Center, third and final video blogs coming up tonight. It's going to be about um, f former Major League Baseball player and H Baseball Hall of Fame announcer, Jerry Coleman. Oh, doctor! Keep calm, everybody. I'm a Julie Button guy. Molly Rosenblatt of WCCO rocks and has nice legs. Elizabeth Hart is so, so stunning. She's the best. Amy Swenzi has nice legs. And Julie Gower of Fox 25 in Boston's the best. Uh, Michelle Pito has nice legs. And Julie Donaldson of Comcast Sports of Mid Atlantic's number one. And in the words of Dickie Ackroyd, unit director of the Boys and Girls Club of Greater Bell Echo, the more, the merrier. See you tonight, Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, and Google+.